Yes, so would you. It's been one stressful year, Cyclones. Cost of living, the election, plenty to keep you awake at night. But losing out on precious shut-eye can have some serious consequences on your brain and your ability to work. But how do we salvage the day after a bad night's sleep? Whether it's end-of-year stress or worries about the next, staying awake, tossing and turning at night is the worst. Especially when you've got a job to do the next day. And research says going to work on a bad night's sleep is the equivalent of turning up drunk. So, how do we make it through the day when we've hardly slept? And for more on this, we're joined by Dr. Angela Lim from Sleep and Mental Health Platform, Clearhead. Good to see you, Angela. What does a bad night's sleep do to our brains? Yeah, so basically the data shows that a third of people actually get less than seven hours sleep. And when we look at our data, we see that about 23% of people um, state that poor sleep is a, a, the number one reason for their poor mental health. And so what it does is your brain basically is uh, the front part of your brain is called the prefrontal cortex and it's involved in a few functions like the ability to plan, make decisions, follow instructions um, and that basically gets shut down um, when you don't sleep very well. On top of that, the part of your brain that's called the amygdala is the part of the brain that has your fear response. So when you see a tiger in front of you, it's your part of the brain that tells you you have to run really fast. So what happens when you're not sleeping very well, that part of the brain becomes 60% more active and then it switches the front of the brain that controls the anxiety part and so you actually see a 30% spike in anxiety as well. So that's what happens when you don't have poor sleep. You basically perform as if you're drunk. So what can you do to get through the day on not much sleep? I'm a big fan of four or five cups of coffee. <laughs> and that's the bit that I'll tell you that's the last thing you should do. Okay. It's a short-term fix, but, <laughs> but it, will have a, it will obviously make your sleep actually worse. And so then it becomes this like never-ending cycle where you're chasing um, good sleep. Um, what really um, you should do instead is actually take a 20-minute nap. And so, you know, whether that might be a room in, um, in the workplace that you have, if you're working from home, um, or if not, just, you know, maybe pop into your car and take a 20-minute minute nap no more no less that's kind of what the research shows that's like the optimum amount and especially as you mentioned so for example commercial drivers their reaction time actually um, extends so um, if you're really tired don't drive through just actually pull aside and, and take a nap um, the other thing you can do is actually take a walk um, it has two benefits one is that when you take a walk outside oxygen goes into your brain you feel better um, but also you get hopefully exposed to sunlight which allows your body to build up melatonin which then helps you fall asleep okay Angela so one night of bad sleep may be manageable but how about multiple nights yeah, so that's basically, you know, once you start getting into days, weeks and months or even years, you're kind of becoming what they call chronically sleep deprived. And of course, some of the tips you can do is basically, you know, making sure you have a really clear sleep routine. So going to bed at the same time, waking up at the same time, you know, keeping your room nice and cool and dark. Does counting sheep work? <laughs> yes, um, one of the things you can do is to try and really find a way to relax, whether that's drinking a chamomile tea, whether it's writing a um, gratitude journal to kind of um, basically meditate or relax yourself before you go to bed. So a very important thing, for example, is make sure you don't use your phone or your laptop an hour before you go to bed so that your body has the chance to kind of go into the sleep mode instead of still kind of revving from all the work. Thank you so much, Angela. Lovely talking to you. Lovely talking to you too. Hmm.